What's up everybody? We are in the beautiful city of Recife right now and we are going to go explore and see what are the best things to do here in Recife. So Recife is the fifth largest urban area in Brazil with over 4 million inhabitants. And so this place is huge. This place has a lot of colorful buildings and it just is really, really nice. Reminds me of like Mexico City in a way and uh, some other, you know, really interesting, nice places with uh, the stones in the middle of the streets and the town center the way it is. So in the 16th century, Portugal settled here and actually you know, developed a lot of sugarcane to actually send it over there from here in Recife. And uh, you know, that's where it kind of started. The history is really, really crazy. And uh, you're gonna see, there's a lot of interesting facts that Recife has. Some dark and some you know, interesting that's not so dark. So Olinda was the capital of Recife and in 1630 the dutch invaded and took over from the portuguese and what's crazy about this whole thing is they actually stood in power until 1654 when they were forced out after they had a lot better infrastructure building canals and kind of setting up the city to be how it is today So as we walk around here, we can see that, you know, this place is definitely dated. There's a lot of like rich, rich history in the area. A lot of things have happened here throughout the years. And um, although it's not as beautiful as it once was, it's still really nice to see. And honestly, uh, it's a nice place to come. You see a lot of, you know, different things. There's a lot of restaurants, even throughout this pandemic, it's still, you know, happening you know there's some people here and they have people just chilling on really nice park and uh you know the ambiance is is amazing so i already love this place and i can't wait to see more so as we walk around and we're near the water i just love how calm and how it's so zen and it's a vibe here like i really like it um so it looks like during the day it's just really calm and these people like probably like to party at night is what it looks like because everybody's setting up the dancers are getting ready to perform on the streets oh and it's about to go down <laughs> oh guys so you remember how i told you that you know the dutch actually conquered this area for a while well if you look behind me the pink building is actually exactly how the dutch would have constructed houses back then because if you've been to amsterdam you can see that that is exactly the style it's you know not too wide but it's very very long and it's just kind of crazy because you know i'm, I'm reading the history online and i'm looking at it now in person and this is what's really cool about you know history to me and not just reading it from a textbook or from online and actually seeing it because it, it just looks exactly how they did when I went to Amsterdam. So guys, this area is, uh, you know, like I said, has a lot of history and I can't wait to actually find out and actually see uh, some of the rest. So as you can see that pink building, this one's really messed up obviously and I'm sure nobody really cares about it at this point. And then look at this one. They're all touching right there, just everything. So now we're walking around the downtown area. I mean, all of this is kind of small and it's, we've been walking around the downtown area, but this part's a little bit more kept up with. And as you can tell, there's music in the background. So there's a, a lot more people on this side. It's in front of the port, I guess you would say, where there's some statues and everything. It's really nice here. And uh, this building behind me is like perfect. It's like really, really nice. 
Wow, guys, it's like being in Europe here, honestly, except they speak Portuguese and uh, this isn't Europe. This place has so much like resemblance. I'm telling you, it's so crazy. So let's compare how these can look when you actually restore them and do them right. Look at this. Look at the difference between the blue one on the left and the one on the right. And then the one in the middle is kind of like legit half restored. The difference is crazy and how beautiful, beautiful, beautiful they look. Being here is like legit being in Europe to me right now. It's so crazy. These people don't even know it either. How, you know, nice it is. And I mean, it's not that it's very, very nice. It's just there's a lot of history and culture and, you know, it's there's, there's a lot of beauty in simple. And to me, I, I see it and I really enjoy it. I've been looking for you guys everywhere. So anyways, to wrap up the history here. So in 1654, the Dutch stopped and then the Portuguese started again, all the way till 1815. And then it kind of transitioned over again and again to then in 18, you know, 39, if I remember correctly. You know, if it's wrong, I will put it up in the video, but if it's right, I get an award. So anyways, <laughs> Um, from 1889 or 39, one of the two now, I don't remember. Uh, you know, Brazil actually started, and it's been Brazil since then. Or at least Recife was actually in Brazil the whole time. Or maybe that's Brazil in general. But, you know, that's the history, guys, from your favorite teacher, Asho Troncoso. Look at this beautiful view, guys, of the canal. Guys, we have Alicia's twin right here. That is you, okay? Beautiful representation of Alicia. What's up, everybody? So right now, I am at Pobre Juan's. It's a restaurant here in Rio Mar uh, Mall in Recife. And let me just tell you, this is not a restaurant for pobre people, uh, as they got Wagyu steak here, they got tomahawks, uh, they have uh, a lot of really good meats. So guys, today I am paying. So let's see what Alicia runs my pockets for. Right now she is on Instagram looking at what meats she wants to actually pick. And let's see. Let's see. The tomahawk. That's what it looks like. So what are you running me for? getting the tomahawk. So that's the piece of tomahawk that we are going to get. Got it, <laughs> So I ordered a pineapple smoothie and uh, came delicious. Hey, what are you doing? Comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll keep teaching you how to be citizens of the world. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs>